Let's begin today with what police are calling a violent and coordinated attack on a new public safety training center under construction in Atlanta. Yeah, there's lots of video everywhere showing what went down. We know at least 35 people arrested after they threw rocks, fireworks, Molotov cocktails at police officers, and they destroyed some of that equipment there that you see on the grounds. Fortunately, no officers were injured in this attack, but this training center has been nicknamed Cop City by radical activists who continue to attack it. In fact, they have been protesting its construction since 2021. Atlanta's police chief, though, Darren Shirebaum, says Sunday's attack marked what he calls, quote, significant escalation. And with more violence, more people involved in the latest attack. That's what he's pointing to. In fact, we now know some of the suspects aren't from Georgia, but as far away as Canada and France. And here is Atlanta's police chief. Actions such as this will not be tolerated. When you attack law enforcement officers, when you damage equipment, you are breaking the law. And this was a very violent attack that occurred this evening. Very violent attack. And this wasn't about a public safety training center. This was about anarchy, and this was about the attempt to destabilize. Anarchy and the attempt to destabilize. Let's welcome in now former New York City Police Commissioner Bernard Carrick. He joins us now live. Great to see you as always, Bernie. Thanks, John. Well, uh, maybe the Fulton County District Attorney Fannie Willis should stop trying to prosecute Donald Trump's associates and focus more uh, attention on these anarchists. Well, you, know, you know what, John? Uh, this is uh, it's ironic. This is an adjoining county. It's not specifically well, this is in, in the Cab County, correct? The, this is DeKalb County. But you know what? Where is where is DeKalb County? Where is the DA? Where are the DeKalb County police? Where's the county executive? You know, if it wasn't for the governor sending the state police and it wasn't for Chris Carr, the attorney general, these things wouldn't be prosecuted. And I understand, I, I spoke to uh, Congresswoman uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene earlier today. She's introducing legislation tomorrow that will call for Antifa to be designated a federal, uh, a federal domestic terror group. But, uh, but I, here's well, Bernie, my that, question to the feds, John. That's pretty big right there. Let's, just, let's go back to that real quickly. Tell us, uh, tell us more about your conversation with Marjorie Taylor Greene. Well, she basically said that, you know, Antifa acts as a dom domestic terror group, no different than the Black Liberation Army, the Black Panther Party, the Weather Underground back in the 70s and 80s. And she thinks they should be designated as such. And I agree. Under the federal guidelines, John, the federal law right now, under DHS, the Department of Justice, the FBI, they classify domestic terrorism violent criminal acts committed by individuals or groups to further ideological goals from, from stemming from domestic influences such as political, religious, social, racial, or environmental natures. Mm. Bottom line is, this is terrorism. Yeah. This is yeah. domestic terrorism. It certainly looks like it and in the Bernie, video that we're showing. Yeah, Bernie, we have people, you know, from far away from, you know, France, Canada. They're brazen. They're here. This is not the first time. Uh, at least 19 people arrested for domestic terrorism charges for uh, going to the site here back in December. So it does not seem like whatever police are doing is um, making them less incentivized to come. If, what would you advise the authorities in Atlanta to do since now they're actually promising a week of action after yesterday's incident? Well, I think the attorney general has to go after them in, in the strictest sense, number one. Number two, get the feds involved. Get them on site and get them involved and make them, force them, call their hand to prosecute. Also, they're coming in from other states. These are the same people that are doing this stuff in Seattle, Portland, Baltimore, uh, other Los Angeles, uh, Oakland, California. They're the same exact radical element that's doing it all across the country. They have to be charged federally and stick them in prison for as long as they can. What was going on in Atlanta, this stuff was violence. It was arson. It was deadly physical force. We have to be as aggressive as physically possible to stop this stuff. Bernie Carrick, great to see you. Thank you for your time. Thanks, John. Thanks, Bernie.